Kevin, so we know that Mr. Mueller's investigation has many different branches. Does this mean that we could see the wrap-up of at least one part of the probe? Good morning, Sherry. Yes, that is what we've been hearing for quite some time, in particular on the issue of collusion and whether or not any of Tr President Trump's uh, inner circle around him during the campaign knew about any potential collusion or they themselves collaborated. Now, the senior administration officials that I speak with, as well as sources close to this White House, tell me that they are adamant that there has been no collusion whatsoever. However, that's issue number one. But as you rightly point out, the second point that I would make is that there's a developing other storyline here that we've been covering for quite some time. And that is, of course, with Paul Manafort, President Trump's former Trump campaign chairman, about what his business dealings were in the Ukraine and the pro-Russia faction of the Ukraine and whether or not any of those interests came into the United States. But lastly, you have to remember here that there was a, according to the intelligence community and court document filings, a long effort on behalf of Russia to, dating back as far as 2014, before candidate Trump even declared his candidacy, of trying to meddle in the election using social media platforms, using uh, a type of influence uh, mm. over the democratic process that has really shaken up Washington. And I suppose one of the key questions, Kevin, is will the president and his son be interviewed and what's the timing on that? That's the, the key thing. Well, we just don't know whether or, whether or not they will ultimately agree to, to be interviewed. Uh, they've said that they're open to it, but they've also said other things, as we've all been following. On the flip side of that, mo much of the focus here in Washington amongst the intelligence community, Vani, is how is the United States better protecting itself in the midterm elections. Last week at a press conference at the White House, President Trump telling us reporters that he believes that you have to be more vigilant. He even went as far as to say that there needs to be paper backups for the midterm elections. That is something that is only scratching the surface of the bipartisan proposals that are on Capitol Hill. Kevin, the White House also had a busy weekend. They laid out a series of proposals to increase school safety, but it fell far short of President Trump's uh, promises that he's been making in the past few weeks. Yes, in particular, uh, we think of that bipartisan meeting at the White House with top Democrats and Republicans involved in the uh, school safety, gun safety uh, conversation that has been going on uh, in recent weeks uh, following the latest tragedy. And yes, it would appear that this is a much more uh, uh, fluid situation than others had hoped for. But as we move this forward, I speak with sources up on Capitol Hill and both the Republican and the Democratic Party who feel hopeful, Sherry, that there be some type of bipartisan measure that could be completed by the end of the month, in particularly focusing on mental health as well as background checks.